Hello, welcome to Dr. Fixmaster. I posted a uh, video about broken plastic on a pair of uh, Skull Candy Crusher wireless headphones. Um, I found a fix for that. Uh, it's not pretty, but it's functional. So let's get right to it. Here's the problem <clears throat> the plastic cradle that holds the ear cups is under designed and puts large stress stresses on tiny areas of plastic. With normal use, stress cracks appear that eventually break through outright. Here is the fix. Notice the very close proximity between the cradle and the ear cup. There is a ton of surface area in here for a plastic bonding epoxy. Here is the Loctite plastic bonding, two-part epoxy. Make sure you get the two-part epoxy. Mix it up well on a paper plate. I made the mistake of using a styrofoam cup. It melted. Don't do that. Using a small flathead screwdriver, apply lots of the epoxy into the groove between the ear cup and the cradle, and use the edge of the screwdriver to push the epoxy as deep as you can get it all the way around the top half of the ear cup between the two points where the ear cups attach to the cradle. This is a radical approach. Before you start, make sure the ear cups are at the proper angle to fit on your head. It should be obvious to you that if you bond those grooves, that is the position where the ear cups will stay forever. They will never move again, but the bond will be bulletproof and your headphones will, will remain fully functional and usable. This is what it looks like when it's done. It's important to work quickly. You have about five to ten minutes before the epoxy starts to thicken and set and it gets harder to manipulate. Get it into the groove as quickly as you can, but being careful not to get it on things you don't want. It will not come off. You have one shot at it, so work carefully, but keep it moving. Be careful about the amount. How nice it looks when you're done depends on how quickly you get it in there and how uniform you can make it uh, before you let it set. You can drag the screwdriver across it to smooth it all out and eliminate gaps. You might also be able to get inventive and use anything that will get a nice smooth bead in there, just like you were putting caulking around a tub or a sink. Or like when caulking, if you have uh, if you have put on just the right amount, you could dry your finger across the groove to smooth it out. You may have to wipe off your screwdriver from time to time and use it to scrape off, smooth out, or reposition any excess. You will get better with practice. This was my first attempt. I put the epoxy in a styrofoam cup and it melted the cup and polluted my epoxy. You can see how it modified the color. I also took too long on this particular side, so it looks much rougher than when I did the other side. Frankly, this side looks horrible, but if you do it right, the epoxy will take on the color of the surrounding plastic and dry clear. If you're crafty, you could end up with a really nice looking job that a few, that, that few people wouldn't notice any difference in. I'm letting you know in advance what I learned in the process so yours can end up looking much nicer than mine. Regardless of how they look, this epoxy material bonds the plastic and sets up very hard. You'll know when you feel them afterwards that the ear cups are solidly in place. If you have any doubts about that, you could always do the other side of the cradle as well. I just did the outside edge and that seems to be more than enough to me. You can see the bond is strong and the headphones are mechanically sound, even though the cradle plastic was broken all the way through. Here's the finished product. You can see uh, they're very durable. You can do probably more with them now that I can do more with them now that I've glued them than, than I ever could before because the plastic was so thin right there. Um, I hope you enjoy breathing new life into your Skull Candy Crusher wireless headphones and that uh, you find this information useful. Uh, these things sound great. There's no arguing with that. Um, so, you know, if you, if you found this information helpful, please subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.